Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I will be um, improving my Android app, testing the launcher. Okay, great. So um, let's begin. Uh, I have made some changes to the app overall and now I am gonna test it and to see if it's ready for an update. Okay, so I want to see if everything works fine. And uh, I have been testing it a bit here and it seems to be working fine. In short, I cleaned up the code and make everything look a bit nicer and try to improve performance even more. Um, right now, if I run this, uh, let me first clear the lock at the content and go again here and I will filter the output by system that out. I'm using that to lock. Um, okay, so as you can see here, we can see how much time it takes for the app to be initialized. Um, so here, for example, in main.kt, which is this thing right here, um, this onCreate thing is what prints this line here. And it have elapsed 23 milliseconds since this now thing was was um, set up, right? I want to reduce the time of creating ready, which is 681 or settings ready if you if you want. Um, so Some things are easier to reduce than others, of course. Some things are already optimized. Let's see if I can reduce the time. So let's start with the onCreate thing. Can I make these uh, be printed before 23 milliseconds? Um, I don't know. But, but for exploring for optimization sake, let's ask ChatGPT. How can I make my, I don't know, this is not a very good question, right? But just let's see what we can learn from this. My Android activity on create meetoth to be called sooner. It says, um, first, optimize initialization. Ensure that you're not performing any heavy tasks or operations in the on-create methods that may cause delays. Move such tasks to background tra threads or lazy initialization if possible. Review dependencies. If your activity has dependencies that need to be resolved before on-create is called, consider structuring your code to initialize these dependencies earlier in the lifecycle, perhaps in on-create of a parent activity or a specific initialization class. Use a splash screen if the delay mainly due to loading screen resource or initialization components. Consider using a splash screen. This screen can be displayed while the app initializes the background, allowing your main activity to be shown sooner. Mm. Reduce layout complexity. Simplify the, the layout of your activity to reduce the time it takes to inflate and render. Complex layouts need more with nested view can lead to delays. Preload resources if your activity relies on resources like images or data from the network. Consider preloading them before the activity is launched to minimize delays. Optimize manifest configuration. Review your render manifest XML files to ensure that your activity is configured correctly. Ensure that there's no unnecessary attributes or configurations that might cause delays in launching the activity. By optimizing your code and considering this strategy, you can potentially make your own cream to get called sooner in your Android activity lifecycle. Um, I mean, every millisecond counts here, right? And I have to say that uh, the machine I'm using is a decent new machine, uh, which has a powerful processor. 
um, so just for you to compare um, these, probably I should not test it in this um, emulator, or maybe I can, but if I test it on my on cheap device I have here, actually the time is a lot longer, right? <laughs> yes. So have to take that in account, but also um, there's different APIs as well system images and the system is different so it's not only the the hardware of the device but it's also the software the system software okay so let's for now assume that 23 milliseconds is a, is an okay time okay so yeah um what i do here is very very straightforward i just said the uncreate just called to true that's it. That's what I do. But of course, this call, I mean, takes some time as well. Um, so probably, um, I mean, um, what I'm thinking now is, what if I do an, an LS that launch, and then I print this here? I mean, will that uh, make this will not make the uncreator run faster? But well, it may make the uncreator run faster. The thing is, I will do that, and I will focus on start if it goes below thirty-five. Okay, that's what I'm what I try to do. Okay, on start forty-eight. Okay, let's go again. 37 so basically no gain at all so no reason to use launch so no reason to use launch no gain no gain we're measuring things here I mean on start I guess it's the same so creating you have to create a coroutine I think when you have something at least 50 milliseconds in difference and here I am having just 10 which is not enough to make the, the price of paying for a coroutine, I guess, I don't know. But okay, now in unresume, we have a, we have unresume 44. Okay, so here in unresume, um, we have 44, which is, again, fine, I guess. But then, um, I have to see what's next. So next it says app zero apps started 121. So this is the first optimization that is kind of, a, let's say a big thing, because it's almost 100, it's 80 milliseconds. So it's this step is more than all the other combined, right? Because all the other combined uh, to here is 44. And these to here is I mean, 70, seven uh, milliseconds okay so zero apps started 121 okay so you have to go there and see why okay um so i i have here a launch and a try and a catch all that um uh, here if launcher is not initialized then I initialize it here. Okay, this goes later, so not a big problem here. However, I will delete this delay. Should I delete this delay? I don't know. Um, mm -mm -mm. So I could just I can do just LS launch. I right, don't need that A. Um, but why I'm delaying this? I am delaying this in order for the resumed thing to be executed first. That's the reason that I'm delaying here a bit. Hmm, is this okay? 
Well, I, I guess, I guess. But now we will go here. So here, can we optimize something? Well, I don't think so, really. I don't think so. So we go, let's create a new launcher. Maybe this cre the creation of this thing is also maybe a bit, a bit big, you know. Then um, this calls um, on create. So inside here, probably I should um, print something here. Oh well, um, on create. Or probably, uh, I mean, tag on create, on create, and then here I will do. I'm sorry, um, now minus um, t8, t0, which is not here, a t0, I guess. 80 zero. Okay, so now we will see the launcher on create when it's called. That's that's the next thing to do. Okay, so let's see. Launcher on create is called in 47. Okay, so to, it means that to this point everything is fine. Now the thing is, so these four milliseconds are not that much of jumping because there's nothing can get me optimized there. So here we start the optimization from here to zero apps started. There is where we start doing the optimization. So um, basically, I don't know if if I should put these after this thing right here. Uh, I don't know, <laughs> but um, let's see init data init data apps started 115 okay so let's test doing that to see what happens so um uh, i will put these things these two lines after i launch the coroutine so that the coroutine launches sooner let's see if it even works okay now, right now, the time is uh, the time to beat is one hundred and fifteen, right? So let's see what's the new time, right? Mm, one hundred and four, right? Um, yeah, but it was also called a bit earlier, so. I don't know, but okay, is less. Let's do it again to see. Um, 166. So this jump from here to here is 100 milliseconds. So that is a bit concerning, <laughs> you know? Yeah, just a tiny bit concerning. Yes. Mm, how do I solve this? Because I mean, apps in it data. Apps has started one hundred sixty six. Uh, Um, okay, how to create a coroutine in Kotlin that is live cycle scope and independent from other coroutines that are also live cycle scope in order to prevent it to be 
delayed. Am I asking something even useful? I don't know. To create a coroutine that's life cycle scope and independent from other coroutines, you can use life cycle scope right away. And this scope is tied to the life cycle of the android console all coroutines launched in it when it life cycle is launched and straight independent from other coroutines, you can launch a new coroutine within the scope. This is how you can do it. Life cycle scope launch. <clears throat> okay. Um Let's see. So right now the jump is 100 milliseconds. This is big. What I wanted to hear is I want to launch this to make it faster. So let's see if now the jump is less than 100. Okay, now it's 60, 106. I mean, <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a reduction, but but sometimes it changes, you know. Now it's more than one hundred. I mean, <laughs> um, uh, it is kind of kind of strange. Hmm. So, it's a bit expensive to get here, you know. It is a bit expensive to get here. Just to make this, I don't know really. Because mm, well, to to print this has to calculate this, and also has to calculate this. So what if I delete this? Will it be more consistent? Apps started in one hundred and fifteen. Still a big jump, you know, still a big jump there. Hmm. One hundred and fifteen. Is it still the sixty or seventy milliseconds? This I want to reduce this jump. But it's 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 a bit hard. Okay, I'll do something, which is not the most elegant thing, but I will reduce one call here, and I'll put it here. As we know, the difference is almost negligible, doesn't exist. Okay, and so let's see now. Yeah, I mean, in its data. The thing is that from on create to in it data. Mm, okay. Mm. I will here. I will print a new one. Um, tag. In it data. Now minus a dot t zero. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. So the expensive thing, as you can see, is launching this core routine. Hmm. Hmm. 
how to make a co-routine like this to launch faster. I want it to be a life cycle co-routine. If you want to show the co-routine is life cycle aware while still optimizing its launch time, you can still use the effects code provided by Android X. Life cycle scope for Android X dispatchers. Okay, with a different dispatcher. Okay. Okay, I'll do dispatchers that I owe just to see if this improves the, the the big jump. Um now we're talking. Now we're talking actually. It reduced it to nothing. Right. As you can see now, it's a, I mean, it's instant, instantaneous. Okay. IO dispatcher is fine, actually, because it's getting data from disk. So, it works for me. So, nice. I'm very happy about this optimization, actually. Very, very happy. You know, if you... If you take your time, you can find nice solutions. I found these dispatchers. I'm not making it default because here I'm using the default dispatchers for, for I mean, for for this or, or main or, or something, or maybe the dispatcher default is the thing that you don't you use when you're doing nothing, probably. You don't use the dispatcher, then that's if dispatcher default, so I don't want to use that. But just to check, now that we're here, we can use dispatchers default. And, and see. Okay. Hmm. Still good time. Now let's delete the dispatcher default thing. Now we're back to the to the to the big jump which we don't want. Um, so we have to use a different dispatcher. The dispatcher, what do you mean unconfined? I'll say I will stick with IO, dispatcher IO, I guess. Oh, I, I, I put the debug thing. Okay, so, um, okay, so dispatchers, and in this, um, and in this device, the, the jump is 60 milliseconds, in others would be more than that. Uh, okay, why it's not working, okay, let's see. Okay. Okay. So we're we're there, we're there, we're getting to a good place. Okay. So what's the next big jump? Zero, one millisecond, one millisecond. Here we have a six millisecond BM done at forty six. Uh okay. Let's see, what can we find? BM done forty six. I cannot, I think I cannot um improve that I guess I don't know hm. I don't really want to have a lot of the uh, coroutines right so I will leave that as it is I'm up done in 52 I'm up done in 52 I'm like done in 73 here we have a bit of a jump but I uh, mean how can I improve this hmm 
Load icon started at 73. Load I apps ready at 442. Okay. Of course, the thing is these two calls are big. So load and state loads. Okay, here I have to do here. Uh, probably before this. And actually, Okay, and here I will print something similar to this. To see where. Where the the inefficiencies are. Okay. Load in setting states at 75, 71. So this takes uh, just 7 milliseconds, 8 milliseconds. Can I improve something on this to reduce those 8 milliseconds? Because I mean, in other devices, it can be 20 or even more. Um, Why is this? Why am I, am I using this? So it says if stored icon is different than zero stored icon size. Else. Why do I need this? I don't need this. I mean, as far as I know, I don't need this. I mean, if the icon size is not stored. Else we don't do anything. Because icon size DP also has its own default value, which is 51. Get smallest side size in DP. Oh, <laughs> what this thing does um, is that it it measures which size is smaller. In this case, width, right? And then then it. Um, It divides that by 10.5 and then update icon size. Okay. Well, I mean, okay. Yeah, I mean, this, um, this thing, uh, this load icon is taking a lot longer. It's taking uh, 345 minus 71, which is 280 or something, right? 280 milliseconds. Let's see, I mean, this is harder. I mean, because this uh, really, I think it's already optimized quite quite a bit optimized. Um, there are very, very tiny things that, that can be done here. For example, in the case that we are in fresh, we are like getting, uh, getting it fresh. We can maybe, 
a boy doing this. Maybe. But, uh, I don't know. So, this up here, it's hard to reduce it. I mean, can I reduce it? Here, can I reduce this? I don't think so. Can I reduce this? I don't think so. Um, Crave activities. Can I reduce it? I don't think so. Um, maybe this today thing can be reduced a bit. Me. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. You can reduce the code here a bit. I don't think this will make it run longer, right? I don't think so. But who knows? Uh, that's that's okay. Um, so maybe this one can be reduced. I don't know. When the when it's a fresh um, thing. Hmm. Because these load icons is called from two places. From here, which is the one that we were coming from. And this one, which is from the reload apps thing. Hmm. So maybe, maybe I can create a flag out here. I can say um, private bar fresh um, true. Okay. And here we will set um, if fresh or actually. If it's fresh today will be I mean minus one or something. Okay. If fresh else to avoid calling get today number. You know maybe I'm not too much too much, but Okay, so if fresh, then we set fresh to false first. Okay. Uh, okay, you have to... Why it doesn't allow me to do this? Oh, okay, okay. If fresh to false, otherwise, minus one. Okay. Okay, so if it's fresh, which means first launch, we set it to false. Okay, so 307 and 71, that's like 230 or something. So this will make it don't have to call to get to the number when it's fresh. Okay. So apparently it has reduced it quite a bit. Okay, nice optimization there. Nice optimization. Hmm. Great. Can delete these brackets, braces. Okay, I mean, maybe it doesn't look the best, but this reduced quite some time. 
And now we are here at 150, around 160. What else can we optimize here? Um, info all the time. Info if info is the same as back continue. Um, probably. <laughs> Uh, here could be optimized a tiny bit more because you know um, here is checking if my package is the same as pack and pack here is my application I mean my package name hmm Probably to remove that check, I can do all that remove Oh, but how do I remove it? Hmm So here I can do all remove um It's, it's a bit hard to do this because it will also have to check in mean, something different something else that I can do is again doing some check so bar pack was my pack remove package removed <laughs> it would be false okay and and here we can check if was my package removed uh, typo here if it wasn't removed which is false we will check here. So that check is cheaper than checking if key equals package. Okay, so here inside this, we will do all that remove an element, in this case, info. Or actually, should I say I? Remove at, okay, and then was my package removed? I set it to true, okay. You know, this is it's an optimization, right? Um. But if I go and say continue, will it work though? I don't know. Oh, we have a problem. A problem. Yeah. But I mean, it's just one pass, right? I mean, so I don't really gain anything, or do I? So I don't have to remove it, first of all. As long as I do this, was my package discarded hmm, 
feed my back mm. my pack discarded my pack discarded okay false true continue <laughs> okay so this is something that it's, it's it's better a better solution okay so it had it used to be um, I can list down in 229. What? <laughs> I know it's good. It's taking longer. How about I can list down in 74? Uh, 242. I mean... If launch intent map doesn't contain key, Can I improve this? If launch intent map contains key. What? What if I do something different here? So why if I what if I just get the thing and if it's null we load it we get it otherwise we go again right and have to, that will reduce the checks right so what I mean is um if launch intent map at key is null. Okay. Okay. Great. If that thing is null, we get the intent thing. And if that thing is null, we continue. Otherwise, we load it here. And I don't need this line anymore. Okay. Right, that's a bit of an optimization. I don't know how, if it's more than one millisecond, but if you have lots of apps, like 200 apps, that may be 200 milliseconds, right? Even if it's 10 milliseconds in total, that's some, some, some gains. So now it's, it's getting like more, uh, lasting more. Why? Because it was focused, apparently. <laughs> okay, when it's not focused, then everything is better. Um, yeah, where is focus used to be before this? At last. Okay. When we are not focused, then it goes faster. 
Um, main that KT focused. This. Hmm. How can we fix this? Launcher focus changed. Okay, what if we wait a bit for this thing to happen? Is there on it? Okay, okay, okay. I can first delete this L here. And then I can see if this thing is being called from somewhere else. It's not. So I will do a an ls dot launch and I will delay for one second and then I will do this. Will that improve the things? I don't know, let's see. looks better right because it was load icons on the three 344 right now before it's 489 so 100 milliseconds more there for free basically okay <laughs> sounds good um load icons on the 344. So, or should I here probably check for um, for something else instead instead of delaying one second? Yeah, probably I should do something else, something, some something that uh, tells me when these data is done but not all of this data is done um so not all of this but all the init data thing in a data job okay so probably creating this creating thing would be the thing right i don't know so while creating sleep delay delay or something while creating delay mm, sounds good um Let's put it I guess I guess I can do that. Right? Yeah, I guess. So while um launcher creating the get delay m delay which is 50 milliseconds right so 50 milliseconds is a lot less than 1000 right let's see if the app is still fast though will the app be still fast well, let's see. Yeah. But focused was not called when, like, soon. Oh. Um, load icons done at 400. <laughs> Why? <laughs> 
I mean, I don't know why. Mm. Focused. What if we change even the printing? Just to make be sure here. Or no. I don't know. I probably show you to do 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 while Delay times two will have to, have to be. Yeah, looks better. It's down to one hundred and ten, which is the best jump so far. I mean, we can even go up to three here. Or we can wait for something else, not creating, but something else. I, for example, resumed. Okay, resumed could be a better one. Yes, resumed. Focused. So when is resumed being toggled? Should I set this after? Probably this should be before.
Will that work? I don't know. Is this better? Probably. Still 340, it's a bit too much. So I guess probably have to sacrifice whatever that helps and put it here. A lot better. I mean, that's what the data says. Oh, 500, what the f Three hundred sixty-six. <laughs> Can I use a different dispatcher? Two hundred and twenty-seven. Let's see if it reaches 366, which was the one that I just got before. Yes, it does. Sometimes it takes longer. Hmm. So, mm, I think I have to leave it as it is. I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Okay, so we have optimized this a bit. Now maybe we have some things to still optimize here in the load icons thing. Okay, we optimized all of this. Um, we all optimized these as well. If app is new, new app is true. New app, app, info load label, bar icon, if icons map contains key, doesn't contain key, we will load the icon, if it's null we continue, new bitmap, double to bitmap, hmm. Pipe icon is no create a new app icon, need five icon size different pixels. Um here hmm. if I use set pixels on a bitmap but my pixels are my pixels array are larger than than the content of the bitmap? C 
can that cause a problem even though uh, I mean the extra space of the array which is not used by the current pixel data of course the sizes when setting pixels are of the size of the 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 used data and not the whole pixel array I don't think there's a problem I don't know it won't inherently cause a problem as long as you create specific uh, mm, 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 mm. okay so it says it won't cause a problem so n pixels is the pixels what I do is here something different is if n pixels is larger than icon pixel size so we need more than the space we have we create a new one okay a icon can we improve this uh, I don't think so mm-hmm well there we go let's see the time I can start it whatever looks good refresh I mean it is the icon size refresh load apps no problem okay sounds good um and now um Drawable to bitmap. Mm, Drawable to bitmap. Bitmap, create bitmap. Under insecure, intrinsic height, canvas head bounds, draw bitmap. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> Okay, um, okay, now I've got pixels. I don't, I don't think, how, what, how can I do something here? I recycle these stored bitmaps because they are not used anymore. I could bitmap set key, contains key, whatever, blah, blah, blah. A the launch delay whatever system that GC if you new app right mm -hmm. load icon set false the return pair is well hidden I mean I can I don't know what can I do to improve reduce it even more I, mean, I, I really don't know. So I guess I have to see other places where I can optimize this. Sometimes it takes quite a bit, you know? It's like 300 and more. Like 400. 400 milliseconds. That's a lot. And sometimes it takes 100. Yeah, so it varies. It varies. Of course it varies. Why though? Why it varies so much? Probably because I call recycle, and that takes sometimes more time. No idea. No idea. Mm. Why sometimes it takes more than others? Oh, 
Oh, this is the reason why. Last icon update is different than today. So to avoid this, I should, um, I should set today to last icon update when it's fresh. Probably, I guess. Yes, I think that would be an optimization. Okay, so today will be set not to minus one, but to up that. Oh, last I could update. Oh, maybe I can put this inside here because every app is almost updated at the same time. Am I right? I don't know. Okay, so app the last that kind of date. Okay. But now we have to fix the other mistakes that we do here. Um, and of course, I don't have to, I don't need to create this thing every time, right? Yes, I guess. But let's see. So. I hope now it works faster. And yes, it does. Wow, look at this. This is speed. This is the speed. This is what I'm talking about. Amazing speed. Outstanding. See this? Less than 10 milliseconds. Wow. Wow. This is something, right? This is optimization. This is optimization. Okay. Ah, so that this was the reason why it was why it was taking so long. Okay. Okay, this is the largest optimization I've made. Just doing that. Okay, great. Then here we have a big jump here, which we shouldn't. From 103 to 472, that's 369 um, milliseconds, which is a lot. Okay, um, so note in it one already at whatever. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, uh, init data. Okay. Notes. It says notes init ready at this. Okay. Why it's taking so long? Because, I mean, well, actually, this is not what's taking so long. Settings in it started at 472. That's why it's taking long. Okay. Oh, probably. <laughs> probably, um... The, that this is the, the the thing. Um. Init data job, and then settings in it. Is initialized there. And. Well. Hmm. 
But I guess um, here settings is of course initialized a lot later. But probably here it should um, should just do some printing here. Okay, so ol um, ui ready at now minus a the t zero. Okay, so let's run it again. You are ready at two hundred and thirteen. So it takes a while for UI to be ready. Now that we are fast, right? So now that we are fast, um it takes a while for UI to be ready. So as you can see here we have some time that we are not using. From three hundred from ninety three to three hundred and twelve. We have 12, 200 milliseconds, that 220 milliseconds that we are not using, right? So we can use those to initialize settings, which takes like 100 milliseconds. Okay, sounds good. So I will take that to initialize settings then. Oh, sorry, what did I did here? Okay. So, control X, and I will put this here. I will initialize settings up here. Okay, should I do that? Or can I only initialize settings after I, after I um, initialize the UI? Initialize the dialog. I don't, I guess I can, right? Let's, let's try. Mm -mm. No, I can't. <laughs> okay, um, we have some problem. Let's see the crash. Can't create a handler threat that's not called looper prepare. Okay, 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 okay. Settings, okay. Init rest. Okay. Init dialog. Okay. Settings dialog. Okay. Settings dialog. Oh, inflate. This is the thing that needs UI threat. Okay. White white dialog as well. I love the white dialog needs it. Um. Yeah, so calling this one needs to, this needs to be called from the UI thread. This init dialog. Hmm. Why though? <laughs> um. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> to initialize a dialog on Android, do I need to do it from the UI thread? I think Android is a version of the UI thread. Initialize it to the which indeed be done in a thread. However, the actual installation of the other thread can be done from any thread. Android UI toolkit is not thread safe. Meaning UI elements should only be accessed and manipulated from UI thread, but creating objects like dialogs doesn't involve directly interacting with UI elements as until they are shown. So it's recommended to create and configure dialogs and on the UI thread for consistency and safety. So technically, just ensure that any interaction with elements such as text or buttons is done in the UI thread. You're uncertain this is a good practice to perform your operations in the UI thread. Let me see where I try to activate post 
for views. Hmm. So the thing is, in its rest. But why do I have this? <laughs> um. Settings. In its rest. What does in its rest have? In its dialog. Settings dialog inflate. Set view. Is this the thing? Uh. Well, let's see where is the, my last file. Oh, this. Okay, okay. Okay. Well, here is the problem, apparently. Creating the settings dialog. Why I just don't initialize this when I then the when the user presses the show the, the gear icon? Maybe that will fix this problem, right? Maybe. Yeah, because sometimes the user may not need the, the settings dialog. Yeah, I mean. Er... Why does the dialog requires orientation? Just to show that some things are not possible from landscape. Let me see. Or maybe I can just um, initialize the dialog later. Yeah, let's let's try that for a moment. So first, this init rest thing, I will put it in the init. Not initialized. Oh, what the hell? In it. Hey. Of 
avoid using orientation here. If I want to use it, I can use it from the from here, from inside here, right? Let's not use this. And instead of apps height, I'll say uh, ink apps section. Ink apps section ink apps section and here that apps section deck apps section deck apps section Okay, let's see how it works, if it works, uh, compilation error, too many arguments. Okay. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Okay, can't create a handle inside a thread that has not called loop or prepare. Okay. 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 Oh, okay. Oh, I don't need to call it from here. Here we go. Now we can go back to our logging. If I click here, it's not showing. But of course, I need um, to set the the icon right. That's mandatory. 
and this is something really mandatory. Yeah. UI Okay, let's see now not working hmm. okay there we go That's the f only the first time takes a bit longer, right? Hmm. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all, actually. And the app overall will use less memory if settings not launched, thus making it more optimal. Um, yeah, so now let's see what else can be improved. Everything's fine, everything's fine. Now it's ready. You are ready at 370. So here we have 200 things, milliseconds to improve if we want. So this is the largest, the last thing that we can maybe try to improve. I'm happy that I was able to improve lots of things today. Um, so here, um, launcher it is, where it is. Okay, so when the well, the UI thing as well, but the UI ready, UI ready also has to be checked. Okay, UI ready 370. Oh, so yeah. This is the the problem, let's say. Let's try to put it before this, just to do that. Okay. UI ready at 365. How to make it faster? <laughs> well, I don't know. Because these get called after these get called, and these get called when views root are there. And landscape. In this case, orientation is not set to landscape, so so yes. Should I launch it in, in the reverse order, sort of? I don't know. Should I launch the UI thing first? Hmm, interesting. I don't know. Um. Yeah, because now the UI is it's it's um it's taking longer. 
It used to be the data, but now it's UI. <laughs> okay, so if I could, Okay. Hmm. Maybe I could launch this UI job first. And all of this can be seen as the UI job. All of this. So maybe I can launch it first. Like, like here. Okay. But I have to to create a new recovery routine here as well. So probably I should do a that ls that launch um dispatchers um default okay and i guess i don't need this one anymore right because i can say um ball ui job And here, instead of UI completion await, I can do maybe here UI. I don't know why this black thing happens. I mean, when it happens, I have to close the file and open it again. I don't know. Um, okay, uh, UI job uh, join. Okay, um, okay, and I have to put all of this inside the UI job. Okay. Oh no, I need the UI completion thing, still. <laughs> yep. Full UI completion. know what this thing is yeah let's move back let's go back right I don't know uh, okay I need that I need that and I need it here Okay, so I wait for that. When that's completed, then everything is completed. Um, this has to be uh, outside the job. Okay, this is UI job, but I don't need it. So, no problem. Okay, um, I this thing also has to be. here okay um now this has to be some sort of an array 
right. Um, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so while I inflate this, then this other thing has to be here. Will it work? I don't know. <laughs> Let's test. Oh. Oh my god. You're ready in 274. Wow. 299. Wow. This is the speed. Okay, it was great actually. So creating ready 299, three mil 300 milliseconds. If you go back to all the things we did today, like I guess more than an hour, one hour doing this, then we can see creating done. Um, do I have here? Six hundred and twenty nine is what I see here. Six hundred and twenty nine. So we went from six hundred and twenty nine to just two hundred ninety nine. More than fifty percent speed increase. More than 50% in speed increase, which is cool. I mean, isn't it cool? Kind of neat, right? Kind of neat, kind of cool. Well, it's called optimal, right? Has to be optimal. <laughs> okay. Um. So, it was... A it was, I am very happy with this result, actually. I am very, very happy. Um, this version would be version 1.75, I guess, because uh, this is version 1.74, but I think this is the current version, so maybe this one will be 1.75. It is great, amazing. Okay, this is the speed. I love speed. I love optimizing things. Because I love having an app that really runs very, very fast on my phone. And this is an app that runs very, very fast on my phone. Okay, so I guess it's not 100% optimized, but, but this is a pretty, pretty good optimization. 300 milliseconds.
Let's run it a couple more times. Three hundred seventy two. Three hundred forty seven. Three hundred eighty five. And still, um, we are wasting like 100 milliseconds. So we have 100 milliseconds to, to load more data, like let's say. Because I mean, mm, that's the speed we have. Yeah, I mean, yes, but yeah, sometimes data may take longer, you know, you have lots of apps, or maybe your phone's uh, system is lower, getting the icons of the apps and all that, but um, so far so good, should I say. So coroutines. Dispatchers, whatever. Okay. I'm tired. Uh, that this was how much? One hour forty T of optimization. So if I earned like $50 an hour, it would be like $100 of optimization. <laughs> but did, with $100 or when there's two hours of optimization, then I, um, I've um i managed to reduce by half the launch time. Quite nice, right? Quite nice. So I cannot wait to to send this new update so everyone can benefit from these great speed improvements. Before sending the update, I will test it a bit more. Uh, I will run it in my personal phones. Um, I have two devices that I use to test the app. Uh, but these uh, for a couple of days and then if everything's fine then I will deploy the app to the Play Store. It's free for those who don't know. Okay so I think this was this video and and I have to say the the state from which we started was not the slow state. It was, it was quite fast. But now it means a lot faster, of course. Okay. So thank you for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a suggestion that maybe I didn't see or suggestion to improve the app. And I see you on the next one.